Just a quick little update here for everybody. We have all the main characters' houses done, meaning Khan's and Men's house. We have Hank's house. And as you know, next door to Hank is the Gribble residence. But back here, since we finished building Bill Dotrieve's place, which is right here as the chunks load up, and that's what the sign says here too is. Actually, we'll destroy that sign because that sign is no longer relevant. But as you can see over here, that's what the house sign says, is Bill. Next door to Bill, on the other side here, we have Jeff Boomhauer, but everybody just calls him Boomhauer, as you know. And that's the way he prefers it, in fact. Over here next to Bell, let's see this trunks load up. We have Luan Platter slash Pops' place for the first four seasons, and then the rest of the series it's Luan's house. So as you can see here, we have all the main characters' houses done. This is their swimming pool. Back here we have the alley. Now I'm just going to do a tour of the neighborhood because we finished all the main characters' houses. This is Bobby Hill's room. And that's a closet. I don't think you've seen that yet, so we'll go in here. Just a basic closet. Then... In the back here we have Peggy and Hank's room. Closet. Another closet. Just the bare necessities right there for the closet. Same with over here for this closet. Over here we have Hank and Peggy's master bathroom. Still gotta get the privacy hedges in, but that'll get done soon. Back here is the main bath that everybody uses. We have the garage. As you know, this room is the laundry room. Peggy's office. Now we'll go to the other side of the house because that's where everything else is. In here we have the living room. Which does not look like much yet, but it will soon. This is Hank's den slash clubhouse for seasons four and up and then in the first four seasons of the show it's the land's bedroom then we have the kitchen the sitting room and that's pretty much the hill home in a nutshell now we'll go next door to the gribbles
got a chunk of error here, it won't load. That was the way that goes all the way back to a labyrinth back here. As you know, the kitchen, the living room, the storage room, which goes to the garage. There's nothing in the garage, it's just a garage. There's really nothing here. As you saw the living room there, that's pretty much nothing at the moment. That's Dale's work room. Oh lovely, we have thunder and lightning. And Joseph's room. The dining room. Nancy and John Redcorn's bedroom. Because Nancy cheats with Dale on Dale with John Redcorn in the first five seasons, six seasons, something like that. And then she stops and starts hanging out with Dale again. And we have the bathroom here. Just another room. It goes off the hallway and we have the stairwell that goes down to Dale's metaphorical grave as he likes to call it. But that's where he stores all his poisons and pesticides and food for Y2K because he's a government conspiracy theory guy. He's one of those types that believes that NASA faked the moon landing, so now we're leaving Dale's house. Going down Rainy Street to the Super Nuisance Farms place. This is Rainy Street, that's what Street Hank lives on. And now we'll go into Con's house, the living room, Connie's bedroom's off the side here, the main hallway, the kitchen, there's a bathroom off this wall here, now this is the weight room, the bathroom's back here, now Oh, what the hey, I'll show you guys back here first. We'll go back here and to the bathroom. Small one, but it's a bathroom. And the gay garage. And then we have Men and Con's room. Men and Con's closet. Mini Con's bathroom, very small. Main bathroom that everybody uses. And that goes to the kitchen area, so we're not going down there again. Yep. And right here we have The den. This is the dining room. Back here we have another room. They pretty much don't use it except for storage. You never really see that room anyway. Close the door of the weight room. Now we're going to exit the Super Nation Palms house. And go 
back to Milton Street because that's where the rest of the houses are. We'll just go to the end of Rainy here. Go back here to the alley. Now we have to, uh, I'm doing it this way so that way you guys don't see the houses before you're allowed to see them. And, oops. Notice there's a bit of sidewalk here that wasn't here last episode when we finished Bill's house. Ta-da! We have the Lamp Ladder's house. I know you're thinking the living room looks big, but once everything in it is spo that's supposed to be in there is in there, it won't. This is the, her kitchen. Dining room. Now that's the, the bedroom, and then over here we have the garage. <laughs> uh, that's what they have over there, so that's what's in there. Back here we have the sliding doors that go out to the back patio and the swimming pool, but we're not going out to the swimming pool right now because it's raining. It's a disaster area. We have the dance bedroom here. Oh, and the bathroom. Very big bathroom, but that's what that is. And over here we have the lion's closet. Which opens up in there like that. And I believe that's all there is to the lion's house. So we'll go next door to Bell Tree's place and around with him for a while. Just walking down Mountain Street right now. Coming down this long corridor to get to the house, but that's what it is. Now, you guys pretty much know what this is because you watched me build this in the last episode, last installment of Let's Build a Minecraft map, so to be more accurate, we're building a King of the Hill map on Minecraft, but that was the kitchen that I just went through. This is the garage. Very big. This build has a lot of crap. Now, this is his bedroom, right here. The bathroom's right there. Bedroom. Dining room is over here. The 
guest bedroom. I you call it his bedroom. Doesn't matter which. It'll probably be his bedroom. And then. No, I know he called it a guest bedroom before, but. I'll have to put a closet in this room and then. Call it good and. That's Del Tree's house. And this is a view of his backyard. That goes to the alley and eventually to the view of Hank's house across the street. And Dale's house and whatnot. That being said, we are going to leave Del Tree's house and go next door to Bone House, which you've seen, but we're going to show you again anyway because we to cover the whole town basically. Then I'll show you where the guys stand to drink their beer. Trunk error. Now, this is his living room. Kitchen. But he doesn't do a lot of cooking. He usually goes to Ugly Saloon or Sugarfoot Barbecue with the town's ladies, if you will, because he's a tomcat. That's his bathroom as well, and... Over here we have his bedroom. And... Right here is his dining room, which he doesn't do a lot of eating at home either, because... He's always out with... The girls on the town, basically. He's... Sex addict, if you will. And back here we have his jacuzzi. Are we going to the garage? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think we went in the garage. Not very much space because all he has is his 1970 Dodge Charger that he's always spending time to work on because it's his pride and joy, if you will. Where's his car? Modified the exhaust on it and put tractor pipes on it, if you will. Now we're in Dell's backyard. Over here he has his utility shed. And now I'll show you where the guys drink their beer and spend a lot of their time. So I can't could be here. Then Bales and Bales and Boom are here. They all spend their time, like, right here, drinking their beer behind Hank's bells and bells house, basically. Now I'll show you a land's yard.
not much, it's mostly just the swimming pool and that's what her backyard pretty much consists of. So yeah, I hope you liked the video and if you did be sure to leave a like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a good one.